Now for real, tell the folks at home. You actually do this for a living, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I'm a professional so, chef. Yeah, so he's All he's right. actually a professional chef yeah, yeah. at like sporting camps, right? Um, yeah, I take care of like different lodges and high-end hunting and fishing camps. All over the I always got the best ear on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, what's up, guys? I'm here. We are gonna go striper fishing. First time ever for me, really actually focusing on trying to catch striped bass. I'm here with my good buddy, Corey, Pat, who you've met before, and we got a new guy to the channel, Mr. Jason here, coming all the way from Iowa. Iowa, yep, all the yep. way from Iowa. We're, uh, we're going out of Freeport, Maine, and we're hoping to catch some striped bass. They're in, they're in pretty hot right now, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk more about techniques, what we're using for bait, what we're using for lures and more when we get out there, but otherwise stay tuned. Hopefully we get something. And the big thing today is we're hoping for a catch and stuff, right? That's our uh, big uh, we leave this, We leave this water with the slot striper. Yeah, it's a good day. Uh, yeah. What about over slot on this one? Oh, I'm all in it going there with sore arms, <laughs> but it's way better to like catch one eater. So what's the plan for the catch and stuff? So I'm a huge guy of like with tailgating style, you know, my, my slogan is any camp, any kitchen, anywhere. So cooking in Mother Nature in a parking lot always just feels like you're winning, you yeah. know, like you're defeating Mother Nature by, you know, having a hot meal out there and there's nothing better than grabbing one of these fish right out of the water and cooking it really, you know, filleting it, cooking it. There's something about having like the, the, the fresh fillet on your hands like, yeah. and then eating that same hand. Yeah. And then so pumped if we get one. You know how it is, like too, like something about the sea air makes everything you can't eat oysters on a lake. Right. You know, yeah. you eat oysters out here, it's a different volume. I'm pretty pumped. So hopefully, guys, we catch an eater-sized striper. I'm just pumped to see some stripers caught. I don't even care if I catch one or who catches them. But if we can get an eater, it'd be awesome to have a catch and cook with Jason and Corey here. We're, uh, we got the, we're rocking the pack back coolers today, keeping everything cold. And that's going to be it. Your favorite thing, Joe? I can't say it on film. <laughs> the, uh, the captain's wisdom that I've like gotten, in the, well, especially tuna fishing, where you're on the boat for yeah. 10, 12 hours for a bite, has been every minute you're out here is one minute closer to the bite. <laughs> Which is true. I guess, I guess if I had to give you one that's, that's okay for television, is if you're gonna be dumb, you better be tough. Drift to catch catfish? Right? That just seems dumb. <laughs> right? Sure does, doesn't it? Oh, I think I got a bite, but. Oh, hot damn. All right. All right. Oh, you might be over me, bud. Uh, I think so. Yeah, you're, you're over me if you want to come around the other side of the boat. There you go. Come on, keep it. Is a good fish? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have anything to compare it to. We're hooked up, guys. First one of the day. Got a uh, Spanish-American mackerel out there. Drifting. <laughs> No, it's made of American. Yeah. <laughs> Young, get her in, in the here. Rock. Get her in here. I oh, love that. My brother-in-law made that fishing rod for me, specifically for stripers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where did Oh, nice. Looks like a keeper to me. Good be. That's Woo! Awesome. There we go. Oh, uh, you're nice ready? hookup, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Nice hookup. My eyes are up here. Let me get my Woo! Let <laughs> right. me get my bug of breath. That's good. Oh, look at that. 28 and a half incher right there, yeah. guys. There's a, there's my on the board, guys. Caught one. I don't know. What is he about? 10 pounds? Well, now we'll put the burger grip on. I got a scale. No, no, I got some burger grip. 
I don't know why it's taking these guys so long. I mean, it's yeah. pretty easy for me, you know. I always feel like now read read the scale where your fingers are. Rotate it around. Hold the, hold the black handle. <laughs> yeah. What? See that? These about twenty. No, it ain't that <laughs> <laughs> Look at my other hand. Yeah, that, He's exactly ten. All right, now turn, hold him so I can get a picture. of yeah, I can't hold them with yeah, something in his I mouth. Say, I gotta hold them like this. God, don't. Uh, either way. Whatever makes How's that? Happy. That is a beautiful thing. That is what you want to cut into. And they immediately start bleeding out. And there's no stress. The fish dies immediately. Oh, wow. Look at all flip it oh. over. All right. Flip yourself over. Yeah, stop, stop, stop. So where was it? Behind the last membrane? Yes. There's a... Last gill plate. Yep. The last gill membrane. You see that right? Yeah. That membrane and then what right do you do? there. Go straight in. Just go straight in. Okay. Boom. Done. Now I'll get a bucket of water and I'll rinse this thing out. Heck yeah. And we're good. All right, Captain. Thank you. Sweet. Now he didn't die a slow, oh, sure. painful death. Right. He died immediately. Immediately. All right, guys. We're on the board. First one ever. First one really trying to catch a striper, and it was really? uh, it was my oh. third cast ever trying to catch a striper nailed them so it's pretty awesome it's a lot of fun um we're gonna i guess we're gonna keep fishing here right no you're all done now you only get one of that i'm done so yeah, so, yeah. Um, no you can keep no fishing. we just dropped them off <laughs> uh where, where do you drop me there yeah right over yeah, here right, right? <laughs> somewhere over there oh wait that's an sorry. island hold on sorry all go. done now we got lunch we're gonna actually have a catch and cook you never know if you're gonna get a keeper or not when you're out here sometimes you catch them too big sometimes too small there's a 28 to 31 inch right yeah, is the limit they got a three inch window yeah. it's kind of killer it's really difficult yeah <laughs> but when you get that first one all the pressure's off in the world that's like oh, yeah. landing lunker on your first cast oh, yeah. in a tournament so we're uh, we're gonna have some food today. We're gonna do a catch and cook today. I've heard Jason knows a little bit about cooking. Bit. We're gonna find out. Yeah, this is my first time cooking. Cooking, yeah. hanging out with dudes. I like it. I like doing this stuff. These two, um, they're twins. I don't know if you guys ever seen the movie Twins with uh, Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger, but they were definitely twins. Yeah. That's right. Real brothers. I mean, <laughs> real brothers. <laughs> Still 21 to 24. <laughs> All right, guys, we did not have a smash fest, but the cool thing was third cast, first time out, I got a slot striper to eat. So that's going to mean we're going to do a catch and cook. And, and I'm going to let Jason introduce himself, but apparently he's like a, some kind of chef <laughs> that knows how to cook. So, yeah. So tell us a little bit about it. Joke's yourself. on you, pal. Oh. I was just trying to sucker you guys and take me fishing. <laughs> I thought you knew how to fish. No, but I, no. learned... I said I don't yeah, know Corey how to fish. Corey said you came for your for your cooking. Powers. Yeah, well, this is all on like Keegan. Corey's Corey's also a liar, and Keegan Cadell is also a liar. And I'm sorry, you guys are friends with any of them. Oh, so, so you don't know yeah. how to cook either. Uh, it's first time. Oh, first geez. time. <laughs> all right, first time catching cook striped bass. Like your first striper. Coast of Maine. Cook. No, so it's gonna go. Cool. Great. Well, what could go wrong? Beginner's luck, right? But yeah, so we're uh, gasoline around here. Yep, gasoline. We got turpentine. We got anything you need. But it looks like we got one heck of a knife kit. Yeah. So we got a sharp knife there somewhere. We got some lemon, some garlic, some onion, some Old Bay knockoff seasoning. Can't believe Old Bay doesn't exist here. There's a. Uh, so dude, so there's no Old Bay in the state of Maine. Like, I didn't know about Old Bay till I went to Maryland That's and had uh, blue crabs at Billy's Crab Shack. Never even heard of Old Bay before that. Yeah. And then I went to get some after, like at the local Hannaford Brothers, and they never even heard of it either. They were they were like, it's like grits. It blew my mind. Yeah, there's no grits or Old Bay in Maine. So, so yeah, so we're gonna do a little catch and cook. We got the, uh, the pack back cooler set up. Now, the fish is in there on ice right now. That's the 88, that's the 88, right? Is there? Yep, and then this one's the new 60. I like this one a lot too, so. But but I showed you these ones earlier. I'll throw you guys a link to this in the comments. But it comes with a cutting board that comes out, another slot where you put your vacuum sealer. It goes right in that slot right there under the cutting board that comes out. Tabletop comes off of this, and you can set it up there and double your room. And then this thing has two compartments in the 60 quart right there and right there underneath another 
full 10 pound bag of ice and then of course you got the 88 which is even bigger yes but what do you think pat fun time good time weather was beautiful company was decent <laughs> and uh we had a good time yeah yeah so you excited to eat this fish i'm really excited so so a little backstory on pat pat thought he was allergic to fish for the first 22 years of his life right true because I am allergic to shellfish. He's he's deathly allergic to shellfish. So lobster. anything that came out of the water, I just did not eat. Yeah, and, and after almost that. dying really badly, I don't blame him. But when we lived in college together, I caught and and I did a catch and cook every single day of the week because it was cheaper. We had a house on a lake, and the poor guy would smell the fish and see it, and sometimes I'd wrap it in bacon and stuff it with onions, and you know he was drooling, and I felt terrible for him, and he just had to watch me eat it. But now. You get to eat it too. I get to eat and it. And you love yeah, it. I do love it. Yeah. yeah. It's the worst thing for fish. <laughs> the worst thing for fish. Always yeah. catch and release. Now it's, it's still pretty much catch and release, but a lot of catch and eat. State changed the game laws after they found out Pat's eating fish. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Made it a lot more restrictive. That's right. But let's go, let's go to the cutting part. What are we doing? We doing a little cutting knives. over here? Sharpening knives, Jeez. getting them ready to go. That thing looks sharper than our president. Oh wait, am I allowed to say that? Yeah, on my channel? To say that. It's your yeah. channel, bro. It's your oh, channel. somebody's gonna get really hurt about that. That's the word that the media was using. Sharp. Good thing I am a good editor. Sound sharp. Uh, so this is one of the coolest things I get to deal with. Um, this is my friend's uh, 1920 German deli from Rochester, New York, uh, called Swan Market, and. This is the guy that uh, I walked into his place when I was 21 years old, and uh, then you weren't allowed to talk, like if you were a kid, and I didn't talk, and I just sat around and listened, and eventually uh, they brought me under their wing and taught me how to make some sausages. And I'll tell you, I've made a lot of sausage, probably more, more than the regular guy, and uh, I still suck at it compared to these guys. But this did they make this or did you? Yeah, make no, this? they made this. I had no. some of this on the boat and it was absolutely amazing. Not it's even better than the Amish stuff that I get in Union or Unity. I mean, it is so good. So, this is just pepperoni. You guys can just help yourselves. This is anything orange, mm. I usually think is hot because yeah. they got the. Uh, you said ghost pepper on that one, Ghost right? pepper, yeah. Dragon's breath, they call it. Man, it gets in my pack all the time, and it's always like the last one I, I'll eat. Because <laughs> I'm like, is this thing going to be 9 billion degrees? Well, well, what was the one I ate on the boat? Was um, that a ghost pepper one? Yeah. Yeah. Did it get hot on you? It was perfect. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think that's the thing is they're not going to try to blow your palate out. They're going to... I like my like, food to not hurt me. Yeah. It's all on the back end. This fin. This is going to be my line right here. So... And the scales are kind of what stops you from going in just like this. You got to kind of get underneath the scales a little bit, that first cut. And I'm going, see, I was up too close there. Right down to the head. And I'm going to spin the fish this way to catch the spine right there. And then using the tip of the knife, getting way in there, but not going anywhere near through the spine. I'm just going slow. I feel like the adrenaline kicking through my body right now, and I'm like, there's no reason for that. Just calm down. This is not a race. And the point is to get as much meat off this as you can. So right to around here, you're gonna start seeing that like that it's narrowing out a little bit, and you can push the entire knife through there, and then come, let my knife hit the, the uh, spinal cord. Get your hand out of the way because that will cut the shit out of your hand and then that's pretty much all the incisions and then i'm just working against these bones in here you can kind of hear that scraping noise that's my tip of my knife hitting the bones which is a real good indicator that you're not through the bones kind of gives itself to you. Up and away. Up and away. 
more rubs right there. There's one. Vice versa. Same idea, under that fin, and not down like this, you're coming in to let that knife work into that gill plate. Still, it's giving you resistance because you're up too far. So I'm hitting that plate right there. I need to go back a little bit further, but I bet you I can get it. I hit the backbone. The knife is riding along that spinal cord. And somewhere along here, pop through. And then keeping the knife onto that spinal cord through, but not popping off. There we go. And vice versa. How am I doing, Cap? Looking good, buddy. Looking good. That guy's done 5,000 of these. So it makes a lot of sense to have me do it instead of him. <laughs> Chef in training. <laughs> the only way you're gonna learn, right? <laughs> oh, slide away. Kind of letting the weight of the filet kind of peel itself off. Mm -hmm. Not going fast. Getting down through there the belly. Start seeing the skin come through. It's gonna be the end of the play. Cause the other the rest of that's all the guts. There it is. Have that's you ever had straight bass? Dude, we should yeah, eat this like sashimi right now. Madeline. Chill. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, this is like making my day. It real oh, nice. yeah, this awesome. is so cool. I'm so glad. Yeah, it's really, it's really great. Here, sashimi? Yeah. Heck yeah. Where's the wasabi? Yeah, I didn't bring it. It's all right. We'll take oh, it. No. I need another one. A piece? Please. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, oh no. that's all right. Fill into the sausage. That's okay. I'll still eat it. Mm. Sure. No way. So this is what sashimi is? Yeah. Well, when you cut fresh fish, it's, it's just a lot. Cheaper. It's a lot cheaper. Yeah. It's, a lot, it's, a lot, it's a lot cheaper here than it is in the <laughs> you guys. Mm -hmm. It's good. Just need a little wasabi on there. Yeah. Right there. So my fingers will go through that, and I will ride my fingernail down, and then using my knife and pulling at the same time, making this a. Beautiful piece of skinless fish. Dill, um, dill weed, dill weed, and it's. I think this is where white guys make mistakes too. Is that if you want your food to taste good, you should use fresh stuff. You know, like it's in a pinch. Obviously, use what you can, but like, wow, how'd you get this? How'd you get that dill to taste so dilly? I'm like, well, it's, it smells so. Just the dill alone <laughs> smells good. It's fresh. Yeah, the only thing you're not gonna get super fresh is the lemon because we don't grow those in Maine. I grew that. Oh, nice. I brought it. Yeah. I brought my tree with me. I, the Idaho? I did. Iowa. Iowa. Iowa has a huge lemon um, factory. That's, nice. yeah, we're, we're all about it. I heard you were the citrus state. We 
We are. We stole that yeah. from um, Florida. I think it was Florida. Yeah. Florida, yeah. Florida and California. They're, Florida. They're not these guys happy. didn't see it coming. They never, they never saw, saw it coming. Yeah. They're like, these guys are all about corn. Like, yeah. idiots. Ha! Yeah. Then all of a sudden, doing you, this behind your back all of a sudden you guys time. started planting lemon trees everywhere. That's right. Some, some uh, Iowa farmers are like, you know what grow really good out here? You know so what stupid, would grow really good. You know what all the stupid, you know what the deer won't eat? <laughs> lemon trees. All right. Yeah. And weird fact, uh, Maine doesn't have Old Bay. So we're using- That is true. New Bay. <laughs> Chef Paul Prudhomme. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. The French guy? Magic seasoning He's the uh, French guy. He said- uh, Seafood magique. Throw that's me down the stairs my hat. Throw me down the stairs my hat, eh? Hey. Remember that time Bob Boucher showed up at the halftime and won the bourbon bowl? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Card. Aromatics. Every chef ever. I wish you guys could smell through this TV. Using that butter. Garlic is a barrier. So I'm looking for area. like that white edge to start forming. And I know it's like getting where I want to up to that halfway point. Yeah, where I where I know I'm like getting a good getting a good crisp on it. Is that my go? I don't think so. No, that's that car back uh, backing up. Cars that sound to like a uh orchestra point. Me, 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 me. You, 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 you. So 120 is your goal? Yep. Okay. Because then it cooks more on the plate anyway, right? Yeah. Usually. All right. Well, the piece of easy stones. The dill. My neighbor likes to uh, add the dill a day later with a little mayo oh, yeah, to make, yeah, yeah. Yep. you know, like a fish like a salad, uh, salad with it. Is that what they call it? Yep. Fancy what? Fancy yeah. mayonnaise? Yeah. <laughs> a little more salt. Yep. Right at the end there. There you go. Jason Ellsworth, Ellsworth Cooks. We just uh, finished cooking our striper here. We're in a park on shore now, obviously. Uh, we're just out there, and that fish was swimming probably an hour and a half ago. So, striper, cast iron, that's I think over and over again, cast iron's like the, one of the best tools you can have uh, for any camp cooking situation. Um, nothing hard about this, like I think people overthink it a lot. Um, this is butter, fresh ingredients is key, so uh, fresh minced garlic, fresh minced shallots, I'd put a little dill on top. Uh, the lemon I'll introduce about halfway through the cook to like start getting the rom aromas from the lemon in. I also like how the char comes out on the lemon, which is super pretty. And uh, I think it's just tough to beat. So here's some forks. Why don't you guys dig in? Come on. Oh, it's gonna baby. be hot. Oh, baby. There you go. Oh my it's gonna be so hot. <laughs> I, I could have oh just totally god. done that to you. I didn't do it to you. Oh my god. It's really so good. Fun. That was the best striper yeah. I've ever had. Oh my God, I learned something new Fantastic. here. Fantastic. Thank That's you, amazing. Sir. High fives. Thank you. Wow. High fives. Wow. Yep. Not too bad. That's what you we bring call it. You gotta bring a boy all the way out from Iowa to cook up. A successful perfect, trip. Perfect, mm. perfect strike bass. Mm. 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 That's perfect. Yeah, oh. absolutely. Man. Wow. Nothing crazy to it. Holy smokes, that's oh. cool. I'd eat the south end of a northbound striper. <laughs> <laughs> and it tastes like that. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta try something. Wait a minute, I, I thought will. your share was over there on the stone. Yeah. <laughs> How, is that all right? Yeah. Wow. Perfect. Mm. Wow. Golly. So good, isn't it? Man. You might be the best fish I've ever eaten. Did you couldn't you really not oh find the whole base? 
I can't I'm glad it. I hung out then. Thank right. yeah. you for the invite. Hey guys, oh, today we... Did you guys want plates? Yeah, yeah, we got plates. We got plates. Oh, I just thought it'd be fun to do. Well, no, I mean, do in vain, we usually just eat out of the pan, to be honest. I just thought it'd be fun to do that way to begin mm -hmm. with. I think oh. that's how it is. I never have plates. Oh. It's just something else to bring. No, he wants to give us plates so we don't eat all of his here. No. Thank you, sir. Wow. That's the best. Oh, that's the best cooked fish hey. I've ever had. I agree. Restaurant, camping, oh. anything. That's the best cooked fish. I don't oh, know if it's God. the best type of fish to eat. You know, crappie's great, everything. Well, but the There's thing so many good tasting fish, but this is the best cooked fish I've ever had. It's white fish. It doesn't have any yeah. flavor, so you really need to season it, right? Oh, it's amazing. And mm. no matter how you do it, I'll take that little that looks yeah, like that one. Right there. Yes, well, sure. I've never had anything close to that. That is so good. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Thanks, buddy. Welcome. What time's dinner? I gotta take back half the bad things <laughs> I said about you after this. <laughs> I told you you didn't bring me out here to fish with you. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> now for real, tell the folks at home. You actually do this for a living now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I'm a professional so, chef. Yeah, so he's All he's right. actually a professional chef yeah, yeah. at like sporting camps, right? Um, yeah, I take care of like different lodges and high-end hunting and fishing camps all over the country. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I started. I've always cooked. I've always been in the bar and restaurant business. Um, I've had the uh, like distinct pleasure of coming up with some amazing chefs over me, nice. and uh, I've ran bars and restaurants for a long time, and. Um, the cooking was always part of it. I learned at a very young age that if you don't pull your way to camp, you don't get invited back to camp. That's right. So, uh, you know, I wasn't um, the greatest, uh, you know, wood getter or yeah. dishwasher, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I could I could use a Weber grill pretty good and found out at an early age that if you cooked, the guys wanted your back. So. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I was been just going to invite in. you up to camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's usually how it works. <laughs> the grouse, yeah, moose, yeah. deer. Yeah, it's, uh, so I've been doing that since I've been 12 years old. So first Dude. camp I ever cooked at, I was 12 years old. The, the guys were like, how do we go to the bar with this kid? And <laughs> who's going to cook for us? And uh, I was like, I can cook. I can cook hamburgers and hot dogs. Right. And just started cooking right then and there. And that, that bug of like, this is how you stay here. This yeah. is how you get invited back. Especially as a dumbass kid that... Uh, I was I was lucky enough to get invited back every year since then, and yeah. Then when I hit the road three years ago, the guys were like, "Who's cooking our camp now? It's baloney!" I was like, "What are you?" So I think it's an important life lesson always to like make sure you're pulling your own weight, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. you got a special set of skills, my friend. Yeah, it ain't fishing. This is un it's not fishing. <laughs> it's not. I is caught the other fish. Not, that's true. Yeah, it's right. You caught the keeper. Yeah. And I I like foul hook snagged that dead yeah. one. Yeah, and you cheered me on while <laughs> you cheered me on while I was catching it. Dude, this is amazing. You know, it's, it's all so about good. giving back. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. When I catch yeah. enough fish, and my wife has had enough, and I can't put enough more in the freezer, yep. I walk into my neighbor's house because everybody here leaves their doors unlocked, oh. and even if they're oh, home, I, I walk in right past them. I go straight to the refrigerator. I put a piece of fish in there. And then I walk past them again and I look at them square in the face <laughs> and I say, shh, don't yeah, tell them so I good. put any fish in the refrigerator so and good. I walk straight out. That's awesome. I'm probably going to eat the plate. I'm probably going to eat the paper plate what after. Plate? We have more fish. We can no. cook the rest of your fish. Well, you ice it, that ice all coagulates and you're just creating... Um, <laughs> I couldn't see what it Do you guys want to cook it? Well, guys, thank you for tuning in. We had an absolute amazing day. I hope you learned something. I learned a ton. This was all new to me, striper fishing, striper eating, and, uh, and everything that went along with it. So we had an absolute blast. I had a blast. If you like this kind of stuff, let us know in the comments. Hit that subscribe button for us. Throw a like on there. And if you didn't like it, throw a thumbs down on there and let us know why. What do you guys think? Did you have a great day? Dude, so much fun. So much incredible being out here with you guys. I'm, uh, I love being able to show, you know, it's always intimidating when you get around like guys that are like, you know, good fishermen or, you know, and amazing good and good looking. <laughs> yeah. But then like 
the great the great like overcomer is like feeding him yeah. like look at you you like eating like oh, yeah. you know, it was like i had this guy right away you knew yeah, yeah, i was like yeah, i'm gonna be all right with these guys part. it was yeah. Corey you were worried about <laughs> yeah, yeah. still worried about him. Yeah. They? like he's sickly yeah, yeah. yeah we can so, turn him on to some food. so i'm pumped to bring you guys jason I, i'm gonna actually shoot some stuff with him in iowa and in minnesota hopefully this winter maybe this fall you guys have seen Corey for years on my channel we had a a uh, long time ago. He was on one of the original shows. I'll, I'll throw a link to that. And then, of course, you, everybody loves Pat. And look at the size of this guy's arms. Right Show there. Him. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's what Pat, the ladies want to see. Pat <laughs> once uh, hit a guy on the top of his head like this, and it broke both of his ankles. So. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again. Hey, yeah. Thank you.